What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here taking a look at Samsung's just announced Wave 3. Uh, this is running Bada 2.0. And I had never seen Bada before. It's Samsung's proprietary operating system. I gotta say it looks very Android-esque. I just got a few minute tour here so I'm gonna go ahead and try and show you uh, the core of the operating system. So you've got a three button layout here. Go ahead and hit the home button. You can see those light up. You've got a back button, your home button. And this is sort of your menu uh, selection button. I'll show you all that in just a moment. So let's take a look at this first home screen. In sort of a touch whiz esque fashion, go ahead and jump from home screen to a home screen, add or subtract as many uh, as you like. We'll go ahead and jump right back here. So these are widgets as we've seen before. If you go ahead and select one, you can move it around. You have to move it around within the confines uh, of the box, but you can sort of determine uh, where it goes. So I'll go ahead and uh, jump back home. On this other screen here is what they're calling live panel. Essentially these are just live widgets that are pulling in active information. So if you hold one down, you can turn them on or off those little toggles and you can scroll down and see the different options that they have here. So the stuff you'd expect, you have a calendar, you've got stocks, you've got search, you've got weather, um, RSS, in this case you've got some news selected, and you have some contact and shortcuts here at the bottom. I really do like having that option at the bottom though for quick dials. Uh, it's a pretty handy feature. Let's go ahead and jump home. We'll go over to the other screen here, let's go ahead and jump into menu. Uh, so it looks pretty familiar to touch with, uh, but there are some cool things that you can do here. So let's say you want to make a folder of like applications. Let's say you've got gallery and camera. If I hold both of them, let's see if I get this to work. Oh. I didn't quite hold both, I'm trying to film here. Let's try it one more time. If I hold both of them. There we go. Should be able to make them into a folder. At least that was the, uh, that was the idea. Let's try that one more time. Oh, there we go. All right, so now we've got a folder. Uh, drag them right in. I think if you sort of hold it and drag it out, there we go. You can see what's in there, which is kind of neat. A kind of quick way to see what you have in that folder. Select whatever you want, and it jumps right back. Sort of a very uh, neat thing here. Uh, so you've got, of course, your full multi-touch browser. Um, we don't have support for uh, Flash yet, but we will support uh, Flash apps over that link. Uh, and speaking of apps, this does have an app store. Uh, it is Samsung Apps, the Samsung proprietary operating system. So Samsung is running the app show here. Uh, we'll go ahead and let it queue up. It's connecting over Wi-Fi. You can see some of the games. Don't expect to see Angry Birds in here, uh, but there is a decent amount of app selection. And Samsung has uh, pledged developer support uh, for a ton of other things. So you can see wish list, category, top, feature. There are a lot of uh, very interesting things to, uh, to see here in bottom. So if you go ahead and hold down home, go ahead and move your icons or drag around anywhere you want. You can sort those things at the bottom. You can go ahead and add in there. Let's go ahead and add a calendar. Let's try and add a calendar. There we go. The calendar now is going to show up right at the top. So that's sort of your widget list at the bottom. So go ahead and go back home. Uh, from a spec standpoint, it's a 4-inch Super AMOLED uh, screen. It's being powered by a 1.4 GHz chip. It's Bada OS 2.0. 5 megapixel camera on the back with autofocus and LED flash. It does have Samsung's new chat on application. Essentially, that's a multi-OS, let's say, instant messaging uh, application. So think of it as like WhatsApp, for example. So you could have chat on on your Bada device. You could have chat on on your iOS device or Android. And you can chat and instant message friends. Uh, or BBM if you don't need the Blackberry, for example. Uh, a lot of stuff you can do with chat on. And the great thing about it, at least that it's completely cross operating system. So hopefully it'll cross all of the operating systems uh, as well. It's got your social hub and music hub. There's all kinds of music stuff uh, on here. All the rest of things you'd expect. Uh, Wi-Fi, e, uh, BG and N, and uh, Bluetooth 3.0. Volume Rocker lives right there on the left. Um, metal back here. I'm not the plastic you see from Samsung. Uh, speaker, nothing on the top. Power uh, and lock button. And the micro USB charging port and 3.5 millimeter headset jack on the bottom. It's been a quick tour of the Wave 3 running Mbada 2.0. Take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Netflix. Netflix streams TV episodes and movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. Instantly watch unlimited TV episodes and movies directly to your PC or Mac right now. To get your free trial membership, go to netflix.com slash buffalo today.